One of the first questions people ask me about removing spyware is why not just use an anti-spyware application? After all, there's plenty of them out there and a lot of them are free. Well, the truth is the anti-spyware programs aren't all they're cracked up to be. Now, as you know, during the course of making this video, we infected one of our systems with a multitude of different pieces of spyware so that we could show you what it was like. Now, after we were done, we ran three different programs to see what they would find. Now, the first one that we ran was Windows Defender, and uh, we let it do an entire scan, and it came up and found zero spyware on our system. Of course, we know that's not true because <laughs> we knew for a fact we'd installed at least 15 pieces of spyware. And some of those spyware installed multiple other pieces of spyware afterwards. Um, next thing we did was we installed and we ran SpyBot Search and Destroy. It actually detected quite a few, um, and as good as that sounds, that's great, but it wasn't able to remove any of them. It said that it did, but after we rebooted, it was all still there. So that wasn't very effective either. Um, the only thing that we found that was effective was actually, to our surprise, uh, Symantec Antivirus, which isn't really even advertised much as an anti-spyware program. Um, and it was able to detect and remove quite a few of the uh, problems that it found. So that's good. But uh, these results are not necessarily typical because uh, with every anti-spyware application, there are going to be ones that it will detect and ones that it won't detect. It's very possible had we had an entirely different set of spyware, uh, Windows Defender might have detected some of them and the other ones might not have detected anything. And so unless you're going to run four or five anti-spyware programs on your computer, you can pretty much bet that whatever program you're running is not going to detect all of the spyware that you may have on your system. So it's a good thing to know how to remove this stuff manually. And so that's what we're going to get into right now. And then later we're going to show you some extra benefits you can use if you have an anti-spyware program.